Hi guys and welcome back to the vlog. Well, I think it's actually vlog five now, so welcome to vlog five. Today we're gonna to be taking you through a Van der Vault flat roof system and also some new bits from SIG Energy. We're not gonna show you the whole SIG Energy install because we're on day two now, but if you go back to our very first vlog, you're gonna see all the installation techniques that we use for installing SIG Energy. But there is some new bits out from SIG Energy, so we're gonna take you through that today. We're also going to be taking you up to the flat roof and showing you every aspect of a Van der Volk installation. It's a bit like a Meccano setup. If you're as old as me, you'll know what Meccano is. So let's get to it. Let's have a brief overview of what's going in on this job. So we've got 15 510 watt panels going in. So that's um, three rows of five up on the flat roof on top there. We've got 18 kilowatt hours of usable storage with a SIG Energy stack, a backup gateway. And that's the brief overview of what's going in on this job. But why we don't offer certain systems for certain money, because every single job is different. Like yesterday, you join us on day two today. So yesterday we spent all day digging about a 50 meter trench. We're gonna use the four core uh, DC cable from uh, Doncaster Cable. So a really good cable. We've run a 50 mil duct all the way out to this outbuilding. We're about three quarters of the way building the SIG Energy stack, all the gateways up. So I'm gonna carry on with that today. Uh, Matt's going to take you through with the Van der Volt system. I'll also be up there giving it a go as well. So what we'll do is we'll have a little walk through of the trench that we dug yesterday, show that, and then we're going to get up onto the roof, have a look at the Van der Volt system, and uh, yeah, take you from there. So proper day's graph yesterday. The flat roof's up here on the back, facing south is that way. We've dug a trench all day yesterday. It was a proper slog. You've got to be a special man to uh, be digging all day, every day. I know it's, uh, I'm not really built for it, so. <laughs> so yeah, dug a trench. We put everything back down. You can't even really see it now. Once, you know, the uh, winter's over, the grass is gonna grow back up. So 50 meter trench, DC cables, all the way to the out building. This is why we actually don't offer a set amount for a set service, because every cable run is different, you know. We stepped up the cable as well. We've used a four core 10 mil, because we've got two strings up on here. And to avoid the voltage drop, we've stepped it up to 10 mil. So yeah, big trench dug, ducting in, the uh, voltage sticker on top of the uh, ducting, 400 uh, mil deep, as it says in the regs. So yeah, we're ready to go now, ready to put the Van der Volk on. So let's get to it. SIG Energy now have a new gateway here. So we actually are on day two of the install. So I put all this in yesterday and I'm about three quarters of the way through. So there's still bits to do on here. But we're gonna have a look inside the new Home Pro gateway. Um, first, we'll have a look at the physical characteristics, so the looks of it, so what's different with it. So from what I can see, you've got this uh, cover plate at the bottom here, which is now gives it a better IP rating, so that's, that's a good point for it. So let's open the front and have a look on the inside. Pretty similar to what was there before. From what I can see physically, they're now using cables instead of solid buzz bars. I believe that that brings down the noise of the gateway, but uh, let us know in the comments if it's any different. But I'd still believe that it's gonna bring down, you know, the decibels of the gateway, so it's not got as much humming. What else I can see now, which I'm not sure if this is a plus or a minus is not, you've only got one um, gate, uh, one inverter output on it, but you have got space on the buzz bar here to add another one in. So you've only got a 63 amp double pole breaker for that. Uh, you've got the backup like the old one before, smart port here, and also you've got the grid. So that's all pretty similar to what was there before, but you've got two less inverter outputs by the look of it. Now you have a manual changeover, so the manual bypass in here. The, the first version of the gateway didn't have that, so you can manually switch over to off-grid mode. Is it needed? I'm not 100% sure, because you can do that via the app, but you know, to do anything manually, it's there, so I suppose that is a plus. SPD is relocated up here. 
um, you know, same as before, but it's in a different location. Buzz bar at the bottom. The inputs here for the uh, communications to the SIG Energy stack. So yeah, this is the new SIG Energy gateway. They also now actually give you a grand fly lead to go into there. You don't have to make your own, so that's a plus. Pretty much same similar size, same look. I personally also think that there's a new paint job on it as well. You can see like a bit of a fleck of, um, of colour difference in there, so that's good. So that was a quick brief look at the new SIG Energy Gateway. We're going to finish this tea and then we're going to take you up on the roof and have a look at the Van der Volk and how to install it, what bits we need. And we'll take you through all the tips and tricks that you need to know of how to install the flat roof Van der Volk system. We're installing a flat roof system today, um, so opposed to a pitched roof where you'd put hooks into the joists, this is all um, a ballasted system, so nothing actually goes through a flat roof because flat roofs like to leak. Um, so Van der Volk or VDV um, is the system that we're using which all connects together, so that adds an extra level of uh, security compared to um, individual tubs which are sometimes used. Um, but then it's all ballasted down and then um, it all sits on rubber feet and um, metal framework basically. The rubber feet go down, on, go down first and then everything else sits on top which kind of spreads the load and stops any like pressure points um, from building up so um, it's all quite evenly distributed uh, which is good for flat roofs. Um, it is quite important to uh, with flat roofs to know the structural integrity and whether or not, because you're adding a lot more weight to the roof, whether or not that roof can actually take it. So if you're ever in doubt, then you get structural involved and actually um, check all of that. And then also the actual material of the roof itself is um, should be taken into account as well, just to see if the, the actual rubber feet are correct for the uh, roof material. So I'm gonna get this put together with Dan now and uh, we'll show you how all the individual parts come together. So this is how it all clips in. It's all very simple. It's like Meccano. Yeah, so these line up so you can get the circles over each other just to make sure that they line up properly. This connects everything all together. So it means that not only do you have, um, it's not just one individual panel, it's the whole unit are all connected, which kind of improves when it comes to wind loading and stuff. These are the legs. This is what the panels will actually sit on. Um, you've got middles and you've got ends. So. Um, all of where the panels meet, um, you'll have middles and then at the edges you'll have the ends and they literally just clip in. So you've got a lock on one side and you push it in and that's locked in now. And then you do that with all of them and then also you've got the longer legs, which I'll show you in a minute. That's it. So these are the longer legs. So if you can imagine the panel, it's gonna sit with this angle facing down. So, just gonna slide on. And then you've got your panel, it's gonna sit like that. It's about a 10 degree pitch, 15 degree pitch. And that basically is just helping the water run off them and dust build up to, uh, to stop dust build up. So at the moment, we're just getting everything set up so it's all evenly spaced. So we'll just measure it off a known point. So we've got the edge of the roof here. So we'll measure all the fronts off with the, uh, with the edge, and then the panels are 1135 wide, so we'll space the middles of each rail 1135 apart, and then uh, that, will, that will space everything out evenly. Um, so you, there's also side panels and end panels, and that stops the wind from getting underneath them, and uh, it's just, it, yeah, it basically stops the wind from uh, picking the panels up so they're all ballasted down but it's just an additional method. It also um, tidies them up a bit, makes them look a bit better. Um, we're going to put them on now just because of, we don't have as much space so we're going to get all of that on before we put the panels on. So at Greentech we'll design you a system for the maximum um, potential for the layout of the roof so that you have landscape portrait or you can also have east-west and it all depends on uh, the orientation of the roof and the specific spacings on that roof which we'll go for. So on this roof we've gone for portrait, quite often it's landscape um, but then for larger roofs um, when you're trying to get as much on as possible you sometimes go east-west.
You may be thinking of getting solar, but you already have an EV charger installed. Sometimes you can have problems where the EV charger will drain right from the batteries that you've had installed. There is a couple of ways to get around this, but the SIG Energy has a great feature within their gateway. We'll have a look at the gateway and I'll show you what it does so, so you, we make sure that when you do charge your EV that it doesn't drain directly from the batteries. A great feature with the SIG Energy gateway is that you get a smart port. So this will recognize anything that's third party. So it could be a generator, it could be a separate solar system, or it could be an EV charger like the Zafi that we have here today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna redirect the cable that's feeding the Zappi charger and we're gonna feed it into this smart port here. So this allows, and you can tell the SIG Energy stack, to not drain the batteries while you're charging your electric vehicle. There is another way you can do it. You can wire the EV charger so it's not seen by the gateway, but then you're not gonna read the load um, that that uh, EV charger is producing. So yeah, fantastic little feature on this system is the smart port. Very versatile, lots of other third party things can go on it, but today we're gonna use it for the Zappi EV charger. <laughs> <laughs> That's Glenn's job normally. <laughs> you gotta get him a fly. <laughs> you gotta get you won't talk on camera, but you'll do the moonwalk. This is Glenn's moment. He's been waiting for this his whole life. <laughs> there we go. That's how we do it, Dan. <laughs> Sliding your feet, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Let's have a little talk about generation meters. Are they really needed in this day and age? Yes, it does measure import and export for the lifetime of your system. But you can now do that, one via the app of uh, whatever system that you're putting in, and the other one, you can do it now from your smart meter. Personally, I think MCS need to catch up with the times and get rid of these because they're just an expense for us, an expense for the customer, and they're not really needed. All they're really needed for is this um, number. Personally, I think MCS catch up with the times, get rid of them. Us here at Green Tech, we absolutely love the SIG Energy brand and SIG Energy system. So here's five key benefits of why we like to use this system. Number one, the aesthetic looks of it. Nice, scalable system, doesn't look out of place, whether it be in your living room, outdoors, or anywhere like that. Super modern, super good looking. Number two is the scalability of this system. Today here, we've got two batteries in it, but to add up to six batteries, it's really easy and really scalable. So if you've had a SIG Energy system installed and you find that you want more batteries, the scalability and the ease of install on this is just to take the inverter off and stack it back on the top, super easy, and it's also really future-proof. You can carry on adding batteries as and when you want. So yeah, real easy and scalability. Number three is also for the installers and the end users. For us installers, it's such an easy system to install. We haven't got no cables that are on show. You don't have to connect much to the battery modules or anything like that. So yeah, ease of install is 10 out of 10. So number four is the use of a gateway. So when you add a gateway onto your SIG and store system, you haven't got to worry about power cuts or power outages anymore. This gateway is a really clever bit of kit and it'll carry on powering your home, even in power outages. Number five is the flexibility of this system. So this system can be used for an on-grid installation. It can be used for an off-grid installation and also it can be used as an AC coupled installation as well. So real flexible and you can use it for a lot of installations. So we're just laying out these, these are mass carriers. So these are what the ballast sit on top of and we will put them on all corners and on the edges and some in the middle as well. And then that just spreads out the weight evenly 
So as Glenn mentioned earlier, it's, it's basically like Meccano, everything slots into place. Um, so everything's prefabricated. It's all very easy. So the VDV's been, uh, frame's been finished now. We've just uh, put all the uh, ballast down, which are basically like paving slabs, but are a specific weight. Um, and then we've run the extensions for all the cables um, and put the sides on. So now it's a matter of putting the panels on and they're just literally gonna sit on these legs and then we're gonna connect them all up. Once the panels are down, uh, then it's just a matter of uh, clamping them down, basically. That's it. Cool. When you're connecting all the panels together, a little cheat is to see which side the barcode's on, so then you can just mirror that. So if you say bottom right, all you have to do then is look at the barcode. You don't have to worry about male, female, which side's which. You can just literally look at the barcode, bottom right, and put all the panels in and follow it. It's easy. The lads are 90% there on the roof. It's a windy day today and it's absolutely freezing, but the lads are near the year. You know, the Van der Volt system's a brilliant system. You can get a lot of panels on quite a small flat roof space. They've done a fantastic job. All we've got left to do is clamp them down and connect them up. It's been a good job. Thanks for tuning in once again. Like and subscribe if you like to see more content and we'll see you on the next one.